before we begin, I recommend installing two modules to follow along, Twig Var Dumper and Twig Field Value. Twig Var Dumper will allow us to dig into the content fields in Drupal, and Twig Field Value will help us grab clean values from our fields. Now that we have our template override and our embed statement, let's map the fields. I'm going to start with the title of the node and map it to the movie title variable that we made. This is a good example of why I wanted to add these comments. It shows a list of values available on all nodes. See here, I look for the label, and this is a variable I can use here. In this template, to call the title of the node, I'm going to change this to an H3, and the title attributes we are passing from Drupal. And since the t movie title is an object, it looks a little messy here. So at the end of the video, I want to show you how to clean this up. But in the meantime, I just want to show you what this looks like. Right, next, let's integrate the cover um, image field. So this isn't a uh, field that's default with a node like the title was. So we're not going to see this in the comments area. So how do we access this value? How do we know how to point this variable to the field that's in Drupal? Uh, we can do this by digging into our Drupal fields. I'm going to use something called uh, Twig Var Dumper. It's a module. Um, you can use Kent or Xdebug, um, whatever the preference is, but just some way to be able to drill into the values that Drupal has. So after installing the module, um, you can use Var Dumper by calling it. Um, and I'm going to look at the content object. I'm going to save and clear the caches so I can see the fields that this node has. So here I see a list of machine names for the fields. Um, and I'm going to look for field cover image and see it has an array of properties that belong to this field. So I'm going to copy this and I'm going to map it to our cover image variable in our template. Don't forget to call the content object first. Um, Okay, now we have our cover image and our title integrated so far. So next, let's do the MPAA rating. All right, so now that I've added the MPA rating, um, I'm going to go ahead and refresh it and, and check it out on the Drupal side. And I, I do see it. It looks like it's integrated, but it doesn't look right. It, it looks okay in Pattern Lab, so I don't... Why does it look off in Drupal? This is because I forgot to tell Drupal about the MPAA rating library that we made. Um, it's actually a pretty common thing to forget. Um, this is how Drupal knows to attach the CSS and the JavaScript to a component. So right now it's integrated, but it's not styled. Uh, we can fix that by adding the MPAA rating library to our themes libraries.yaml file. Usually when I do this, I copy a previous set so I can preserve the formatting because YAML is picky about spacing. And then I rename it. So I'm gonna call it MPAA rating. And I got that library name from our MPAA rating component. Um, it needs to match. So here I've attached the library and it says, anytime this component is called, call these styles. Otherwise the styles are not added. This is really great for performance and only loads the styles when needed rather than globally. Now that I added the library to Drupal, let's clear caches and refresh. Cool, now it looks like the design. All right, so I've integrated the average rating field, but it doesn't look right either. So let's look at the markup to see what's going on. I see, so here we're expecting a number but instead we are getting this entire template and markup, which breaks the component. This is where the field value module comes into play. So if you haven't installed the twig field value, check it out on the drupal.org page. Um, I'm going to add that to the end of this field, refresh. And now we see we have a clean number and it's rendering correctly. Next, I'm gonna add the synopsis. And now that we mapped all these fields, let's look at how we can improve this. Um, I'm gonna make a variable for this movie title object. 
and pass it to my embed. Plus, I can show you how to use variables in Twig by doing this. So I'm going to set a variable called movie title, and then I'm going to copy this content from this object here, uh, move it into the variable, and then I'm just going to update the field here that's embedded to the movie title variable that I just made. In the end, this renders the same and it passes the same values. It's just another way to make this look cleaner. And sadly, this one does not look cleaner, but it is important to check that our fields actually exist before we render the markup for it. So what I'm going to do here is say, if we trim all the white space, is there any content? Is it not empty? If it's not empty, go ahead and pass the value. Uh, and the reason for doing this is sometimes uh, fields will render white space and it'll evaluate as true for having content in it. So this way we're, we're saying, please only show this field if uh, there is real content in it. Okay, and last but not least, we have our add to favorites component uh, that we made earlier. This I've commented out for now because I want to spend more time on that in a separate video.